Hi there, Snipers227 here with our 11th uh, tutorial in the engine series. In this tutorial, we're going to take a break from the actual engine and work on um, how we're going to load maps, basically. So, we could make a big fancy uh, map loader or map editor, sorry, but that would take uh, months of development to get working. So, instead, I um, thought of a oops, wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, instead, I've thought of a uh, quicker way, which is basically um, you could model your uh, models using uh, 3ds Max or Blender, save them as a um, object file, and then load them accordingly. Uh, or yeah, basically take the object file and <coughs> we're gonna make a program that basically asks the user to input the name of the object file and it'll take um, the mesh from the object file and later when you're done you can just rearrange um, the position of each mesh and it'll create one giant mesh um, so yeah that'll be a lot easier than making a map editor it'll be sort of like a map editor but yeah so first thing I want you to do is create a new project name it um, model to map or whatever you want to name it hit OK Make sure it's a 132 console application. And <coughs> now we're going to just hit next, empty project, finish. And the reason we're making a console project is because we it would take it's uh, less time consuming and it would take a lot more time to make a graphical user interface level editor. So this is just a uh, basically a shortcut to doing it. Um, you're still getting, well, you're not getting the full uh, map editor experience, but I'm not going to make an entire map editor for this series or else we'll have like 100 episodes. But yeah, so we make obviously our main.cpp and we're going to start off with that. Start off by including um, IO stream instead of windows.h including fstream and what else? include string maybe include vector for later um, oh yeah we have to include glue obviously so we're just going to set that up right now go to project properties just vcc plus directories and set up the directories for uh, glue. So include GL. Okay, apply. Library directories. So I'm using the latest version of glue, which is 1.1 or 1.10, I guess. Sorry, my phone. Um, apply. Then we got a linker. Input. We're going to put opengl32.lib, glu32.lib, and glu32.lib, apply, and just go generation, change that to mtd, and under general, unicode to multibyte. And that's about it. So now, basically, if you've never done console programming, it's pretty easy much like 132 like we've been doing um, recently just we have our main function with I like to keep nothing you could people put like tchar stuff like that but I just put nothing and then return zero obviously it's integer uh, also like to put a pause so system because sometimes return zero doesn't work so I just put system pause which basically allows um, or tells the console is basically just going to pause and it's going to print out click any key to continue and then obviously user when the user hits a key it will open ok open glue 32 that's strange is it Please, one thirty two. 
Blue 32, okay. So I put the right directory. What was I? release MX. Just change that to release. Should work now. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna falcon punch my computer screen. So if you could uh, compile any day now that'd be great. But yeah basically this just pauses it so you could see the output um, return zero. I've had trouble it would just print everything and then close it over here you can see it pauses and waits for you to hit any key so yep so what we're going to do is we're just going to or actually first we're going to put using namespace std which basically allows us to um, write things in short form so instead of std count which is the proper way to use that function we could use count because we told the compiler to add std <laughs> to it. So count is basically um, C++ way to print something on the screen. So we could, we're just going to count a nice header. Way too long. Slash n. Or slash n. And again. Actually, I could just use a copy. Paste. And then write model to map converter. converter. How many characters is that? Calculating 17 to 39, which is about 12 characters. So we're just going to copy paste this. And remove 12 characters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I put this in the middle. So I'm just going to assume the middle is there. I'm just going to guess right here. Whoa, what are you doing? As you can see, I was way off, so we're going to take 4 off, 1, 2, 3, 4. This just to make it look pretty, I guess. Four. I don't care. Uh, and then put end L, which means end line. So the next time it prints something, it prints it on a separate line. Said the same one. just got that. Then we're going to then we're just gonna count something called the telling it that it supported formats are dot ACE or well in this case right now I'm just gonna put dot object and then line Please enter the file file name for the model you wish to convert. Then and uh, we'll actually keep, we won't skip the line because we want it to be on the same line. And now this is where we're going to start making our variables. So we're going to make one variable called, we make it a string called domain. And what we're going to do is we're going to use sin, which is C++ way to take the input and store two variables. So whatever they type, we're going to store it to the file name. And now we're going to make an if statement. 
saying if file name equals one sec. I forgot to have something. Press enter. So this is just for the no one to quit, and then we're gonna make if statement saying if file equals four, and exit. So exit program, and now we want to do verification. So what we're gonna do is we want to verify that it is actually an object file before we open it because we could have some uh, gremlins that decide to put an ACE file. I think it's funny to mess with their program. I don't know. Just uh, to validate things, so I'm going to make one called int file length and int extension. One's just going to get the file length and the other one's going to get the extension. So what we're going to have file length equals file name dot size so that's going to give us how many characters it is and then file oh I'm sorry that was extension wasn't it yet extension extension equals file underscore length minus three So basically what we're going to do is we know dot object is extension I guess we'll extension wrong. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we know that object dot object is um, three characters. So object is three characters. What we did with extension is we took the entire uh, name of the file format and subtracted by 3. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to use something called we're going to make another one called int file extension. What we're going to do is we're going to do file extent equals and we're going to use a something called sub str so file name dot sub str and what sub str does is um, it basically um, extract strings out of whatever string you did so it's going to extract a certain amount of characters out of file name so first parameter is the start so where you want to start extracting and then the end so we're going to start at extension so we want to start at the dot right here so the curse the cursor is going to be set here and we want to read three characters sorry that's how many characters you want to read so this is the start position and this is how many characters you want to read after the start. So we want we're starting right here because remember we took extension, we subtracted these three characters out, and we're just going to read these three characters again and put into this um, extension. And what are you doing? Maybe I should put string. Oh, let me see this. File extension should be a string. Extension. Oh, int extension. It should be a string because it's going to store the string inside the file. Not bad. So now that we have the file, we're going to do an if statement saying if file underscore extent equal to object, then proceed. We're just going to, just for now, count here. It's dot object file and all and else we're gonna have to redraw this so we're gonna make another one called int another function just called int main menu and we are going to take I guess all of this no. um, take yeah all of this 
I'm just wondering if you could call function set of function. So I'm going to take all of this. So basically, it should loop every single time. So if they don't get it right, it should pop this message back up. File dot object. So yes, yeah, an object file, and then as again. Okay, so you can see that it's looping now. So file dot ace and valid format. So now it's going to continuously loop because what we want to do is we want to keep asking since it's to make maps. Um, basically, we want to keep we want the user to put more than one dot object file so they can put multiple files in the map and make one big mesh. So what we want to do is we want the user we want the program to keep looping until the user doesn't want to put any more um, files in this map, which then uh, he'll hit 4 and it'll exit program. Very simple. So we got that right now. I think I'm going to end it there because this tutorial is 17 minutes. But in the next one, we're just going to start actually parsing. Um, we're going to just add our object loader and parse um, the vertices and start creating our simple uh, text um, map file. So Sniper Studio 7, rate, comment, subscribe if you have any questions. Um, message me and yep, hope you guys like it.